I'm YouTubing my experience. Should I take this off? You're gonna, you're gonna hit me. We're gonna take your pressure. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, sir, go ahead and dry off. Dab, right? Yep. Dab it. You must have done this before. Hmm. <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> well, you got it pretty well framed. What is it? 23. 23 is my error? That's your pressure. Okay, what is glaucoma? You don't have glaucoma. Okay, but what would that be? What would glaucoma be? Well, it's a neural degenerative disease in the optic nerve. But it would be a pressure, right? For it? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, okay. Why was it so much to me? Even prep and all that, why was the prep so much easier than it was for my right eye? Like my... you probably gotten used to it. My right eye was like excruciating for the drops and everything like that. And then the left eye was like, yeah, I'm just walking down the street. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do anything else. Okay, 20, 3, 3. Yeah, it should drop. It's very low. It's not unusual to see a slight pressure rise from the surgery. Yours isn't significant at all. Okay. So we're just going to use the socks. Wow, I can see you guys like I've got new glasses on. I mean, high definition. Is that is that a blue or a purple? Because I see color definition now. It's a, it's a blue. It's a blue, but there's purple fibers it, it in it. It could be blue purple. Yeah. Navy blue. Yeah, navy blue has purple fibers in it. So it's navy blue. Yeah, but yeah, you got purple fibers in there. I'm just saying, like I, I can tell like if a gray hoodie or gray shirt is made with purple fibers, it's amazing. It's like you're looking at purple, and everybody else is like, you're crazy. I'm like, nope, that's just my eyes. That's well, just the three with the compress, correct? Wow, you guys are very good looking people. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't tell before because I couldn't see anything. Oh, this is. What about dilating? Am I putting anything in for that? Um, you might want to. Oh, can I take the eye thing again? I'm, can I take the chart thing again? No, you just took it off. Give yourself a chance to recover. No, no, I'm talking about the what you did with he me. He wants the eye, me to recheck his vision. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I'm starting to see. What else am I? I? I don't see the actual writing on those bottles, but I'm. I can see that there is writing. You know. Tim won't go so I'm not gonna mind. Oh, oh. This is George right, with the mic. Okay, now what eye did you drop? Okay. Go ahead. And we see in a week. Okay. If you want to do it, okay. So I'll do it. Put some drops in. Pinhole. Okay. Okay, let me start. Okay, so tell me again what, what I just did. That was so off camera. The check was 20, 25, and then you got a couple on the 20, 20 line with the pinholes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look up. So now this, um, these drops here, that one's Okay. Another one I'm gonna do. Look up again. Fine pressure. This will dilate the pupil a little bit. Oh, good. More. One more. 
So um, today, you got your eye drops at home. Yeah. So when you go home, you're going to use the warm compress, same temperature as your bath or shower. Okay. You're going to close your eye, mm -hmm. hold that warm compress up there for like five minutes at a time, and then just line the three different drops up and put one in after another. doesn't matter what order they go in. And then um, you'll do that four times a day. Four times a day for a week? No, just like you did the last time until the doctor tells you to stop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you keep doing it, and then you also have to wear that shield when you take a nap or go to bed. Okay. So you don't know, rub your eye or bump it when you're sleeping. Right, okay. Um, and then I would tell you that you're probably going to come back next week on Monday, mm -hmm. and that you should bring your eye drops with you from now on. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but it's just like the last time, same thing. Wow, well, I mean... To for it to be like that, I mean, as soon as I take the thing off and it's at 2060, and now it's at what? Well, with the pinhole, it was 2025, 20, and you got a couple on the 2020 line. But still. Well, in your case, yes, it is. It's very. That's amazing. amazing. Because of the way your vision was before. Right. So it is like it's like. A it's miracle. a miracle. It is. It's not a. It's not it like is. it is a miracle. This is. Because thank you, I Father. Mean, your whole life you had poor vision, correct? Right. Yeah. My whole life. I've never experienced anything even close, even similar to this. So, I guess, in your case, having cataracts was a blessing. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Yeah. yeah. It's a curse for other people. and I don't know why, but, but I went from years, 50 years, or I'm sorry, 45 years, because I didn't get my glasses until I was five years old. Okay, very so that. 45 years of ne being nearsighted to almost blind, and then yeah. uh, a couple, you know, within an eight-week period to ha to go farsighted, because I know I'm farsighted now. Hi, Dad. I can't answer. Oh no, no, no. it's di it's different because when you when you're walking around with with one eye can see for, far away and the other one can barely see near. <laughs> yeah. It's like vertigo. Yeah. It's hard to do it. That whole time I, I wanted this one to be done. Mm. That whole time I was like, I don't know, I can, and I'm getting nauseous, and, and but I, I had to use a cane, and then then circum circumstances that I can't, I'm not going to talk about on camera happened, and I stopped using the cane completely. Here, I'm going to turn this off.